everybody. Welcome back. It's good to be back. Better late than never. I think I'm about seven minutes late. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi, Helen, Hi. Jolly, Matthews. Hi. Hello, everyone. Good to have you here. And obviously, our viewers, if they decide to come and watch, watch this live or whether they watch it later, it doesn't matter. It's always good to be back after one month of absence. So, guys, I guess this is kind of a catch-up. We're just going to mm. talk to each other about what we have done, I suppose. Mm -hmm. There's like one, one, ga one month gap in our life, pretty much now. We don't know what, what happened in each other's life. So you guys are the Achievers Chamber members. That I, that's something I should remind to our viewers, uh, which is a Discord group that I have. I guess we can talk about it later. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Melting down. Again. Again. A steel, maybe. I Surviving. <laughs> Me too. Melting <laughs> down. You too, Helen. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm good, and I'm not melting down because I have air conditioning. So that's. Oh, nice. lucky you! I've you got are... like an like an old fan just that... behind me. Can you see it? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, what what does Helen have there to keep herself cool? <laughs> not much. <laughs> not much. <laughs> because I don't have much here either. There's a fly here. I'm not sure if flies can keep you cool. I think it's the exact opposite. They, yeah. They drive me nuts. <laughs> no. Well, I don't have the problem that you have because I have spider right here hmm. above my computer that is just chilling. Yeah. I have I have a few spiders here as well because I haven't cleaned this place for, for ages. So I think uh, there are even some newborn spiders there. Oh, great. There's like a spider with like 50 spider babies right in, right in the corner. Okay, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Have you given them a name? Have I given them names? Um, yeah. Which one do you want to start with? One is, one is Helen, then there is Matthews. There's Jolly there. <laughs> Okay, so I have a spider name. <laughs> and I have named a few spiders with Irish names as well, because now, I, as I have just come back from Ireland, I've learned a few new Irish names as mm. well, which was cool. Names that are spelled and pronounced in a completely different way. So it's a bit of a nightmare if you're trying to learn those names, and you, you usually uh, go through a phase of embarrassing yourself, of not being able to pronounce the names <coughs> and be uh, sounding stupid and... <laughs> But fortunately, my name is Zdenek, so usually it went both ways. What do you mean? It's very also, easy to pronounce. Also, I had another problem here. Yeah? So the main manager of the place I was in, her name was Helena. And I kept mispronouncing Helena. her name, and I kept misspelling her name as well. And guess guess who is who is to blame for that? <laughs> Helen? This one. <laughs> Why me? Because this Helena, <laughs> this Helena is Irish and she has she has an A at the end. And it's not Helen, it's Helena. So it took me some time to learn. So what's gonna happen now is <laughs> sorry for having the name I have. It is entirely <laughs> your fault, Helen. <laughs> Do you know what's gonna happen now though? It's gonna go the other way. Now I'm gonna call you Helena. <laughs> oh, you won't do that for long. I won't respond to this name. Oh no. So I'm are you saying I'm going to learn the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> learn what you the way you want. I'm just <laughs> telling you what it's just a prediction. Okay, well we'll see about that. All right. Um, okay, I want to know about you guys. So let's start with Helena. How was your holiday, Helena? <laughs> Who are you talking to? No, she's responding. <laughs> I say I don't know why I said holiday. By the way, I, it's not. It wasn't. It's not. It's not like this. This was a holiday for me. Or for this Joy. was holiday for me. I think Matthews is the only person that 
had had a real holiday. A, pro a proper holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Proper. Not really, because when the summer starts, like the holiday, it's basically I've just work every single day in the garden. It doesn't matter if it's cool or not. Do you get paid for it, Mateus? No. <laughs> Then don't do it. I have to help. <laughs> like oh, what do you do in the garden? Like, are you like digging graves um, or like? No. What are you doing there? No. Um, so I can tell you what I did for the last month. Did, did you plant some like stuff? I was not exactly not planting. To? I I was. Um, we were building two fences, one so that our dogs don't trample our um, garden, and the second one is just to make sure that our dogs don't jump over to our neighbor. Okay. Then we moved some bricks around <laughs> for four hours. So, four like hours. Maybe four bricks. hours. You moved yeah. bricks for four hours. Okay. Then we were making sure that. Then we place those bricks around our pool. Then we moved old bricks from bottom of Tom because we had wood around the pool before. So then, so we moved the wood out of the way. Then we put the bricks that were under the wood out of the way. Then we put the gravel gravel there. Yeah. Then we put bricks on top, making sure that everything is, is aligned. Yeah. Then we had to cut cut the brick so it fits around the pool. Yeah. Then we had to move the rest of the spare bricks somewhere to the other side of our garden. Mm. And it's a lot a lot to do with bricks, Matthews. <laughs> yes. And then we had to move gravel around. Mm. And yeah, and when you have two dogs. That are just really playful and want to be involved. They in help you in any way. They are making it worse because you have to make sure to not to hurt just yourself. You have to make sure that you don't hurt your dogs. With the with the bricks, you mean? Okay. Yeah, because they are going to go under your feet eventually. <laughs> I like. I think I nearly. I think I actually um, nearly like killed my dog because I. What? He, he he went under my legs, and I just fell down, and the brick landed on it. On, oh, on, on the dog. Yeah. Did the dog like? How did the dog respond to that? Um, like normal dog would would. She <laughs> just she just started to like, uh, scream and then run run away. So yeah. But does it mean that the the dog, uh, now knows that it doesn't can't like. Uh, come near you when you're uh, working no. with bricks. You think, you think the dog hasn't hasn't learned its lesson? It's it's not going to to like mess around 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 you for like five minutes. Then it's going to, to go again back and make sure that you cannot work. Gravel. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. And when you like place the bricks down because they have to make sure that everything is aligned, they just come in and lick your face and ears. Which okay. is not do they help? Do they help you with the bricks? Like if you're building something, let's say you're building um fence from bricks or something, a wall, and you have to, you know how you have to like maybe wet the brick or something. I don't know how it's done, honestly. I haven't done any brick laying for it as as long as I can remember. But you might need to wet the brick, right? So if it licks the brick, then it helps you in a way, doesn't it? No, <laughs> because then it would actually create a mold because it the bacteria and stuff. So it's it. It's even worse when you want to put it with just plain water. Yeah. And another problem that we had is when when we like water our plants because they need, they need water. Water. Our dogs think that that's for them. So they basically just jump around, making sure that they get as as wet as possible. Yeah. So we we basically instead of uh, like making sure that we water our garden, we are just watering our dogs. Okay. Well. Okay, this is interesting. So this is what you have been up to, Matthews. Then, yeah. That's not all. <laughs> oh wait. Wait, 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 wait. How wait, long wait. is this gonna? How long is this gonna take? Because we also have to speak to Jolly Helen and potentially. Oh, I'm else. ending. Don't worry. Then our dogs have like this little pool where, that we had to clean. It was nightmare to clean because they were they were basically going in when it was like dirty, and then we had to both clean the pool and the dogs. Okay. 
twice. Twice? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because the dogs, um, we cleaned the pool first, then we went to clean the dogs, but but before we could clean the dogs, the dogs went in, went into the pool and they made, made it dirty again. <laughs> okay, I have, I, have, I have an idea for you, Matthews. Why don't you, like, put the dogs somewhere else until you deal with all these bricks and cleaning and then bring the dogs back? I think the dogs do not do you any good there. <laughs> Yeah, that's why we have like one ded dedicated person that plays with them just to make sure that they don't like hurt themselves. Who is that? Is that you as well? Um, yeah, me, my brother, or my father. It's mostly just either me or my brother that just makes sure that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Another so... good thing. Um, uh, one <laughs> of our dogs got third place in a comp on a competition. Okay. Is it is it for for being annoying while uh uh. No. Trying to work with bricks. That's classic. Was that, was that what the competition was about? No, that was yeah. classic competition. Um, Agility or something like that. No, it was classic competition of beauty. Of what? Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. Beauty, beauty contest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Miss Miss Doggy. Yeah. And one last thing that I actually have that is actually last. Whenever we like um, swim in the pool, our dogs think that we are drowning and they are just barking at us. <laughs> That's that's what my dog do, uh, does as well. Okay, well, it, it just wants to save your life, Matthews. Yeah. So, uh, but do they like jump into the pool to actually drag you out there? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what to do next, yeah? You know what yeah. to do next. You have to teach your dog to do that because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of people of dogs doing that, and it's it's, it's pretty cool. I have to say, it is pretty yeah. cool. And you never know, they might save your life one day, you know? Uh, the, right. the thing is that our pool is like 120 centimeters like deep. Mm. So, so it's not very deep. So it's hard for you to drown there. Yeah. Basically, well, un you... unless you hurt yourself and you like yeah. make sure that you sit in the water. I'm not sure why yeah. you do you that. You could hurt yourself or you could like um, take some kind of substance. I guess, yeah, also that. and it, it, it does sound a bit dangerous. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Okay, <laughs> don't don't do it, viewers. Okay, don't do this. All right. If anything happens, it's not my fault. Disclaimer: This was just a joke, everyone. Anyway, uh, uh, Matthews, we need to let others talk as well. So yeah, we have no, Joel here. Uh, Helen has has left. Uh, I think that's everything that, that I have to say. Yeah, Jolly. Yes. You have been very busy doing your yes. selfie. Yes, I've so been very that? busy. But it was, act it was a, just one month, but it felt like three or four. <laughs> yeah. OK. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, it, was, it was very intense, very, very mm -hmm. intense. Everybody told me, you told me that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was trying to prepare you for that. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was very intense, but it was great. Um, hello, Jorg. Jorg, you say Jorg or George? I would it as Jörg, but Jörg. Jörg, okay. not Jörg. <laughs> Jörg. <laughs> be careful. Be careful there. Yeah, I think Jörg. Uh, I could be wrong. Like Jürgen, you know, Jürgen. Jürgen, yeah. It's I think it's a German name, but I think Jörg, Jörg could also be like Swedish. I'm not sure. Tell us where you're from, Jörg. Okay. But good to have you here, as always. So, Jolly, so you have to tell us more about this. So, the CELTA course. So, that's a course for English teachers. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah? So, yep. once you take the course, you are a qualified English teacher. So, how? So, okay. Yeah. So, was it as as you expected it to be, or was it different? Um, well, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to summarize, but there were lots of things I didn't know. Okay. And were really helpful. Mm -hmm. um, the ways of organizing a lesson around one th little, just, you know, one yeah. little thing, you can make um, a whole lesson from it. Um, Absolutely. Um, and then all the input sessions we had in the morning were really useful as well. 
input um, sessions it's like let's say it's like lesson. information they give you about yeah, so like english lesson like imagine english lessons but these are lessons for english teachers to learn how to teach let's say mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah they they taught us like lots of different things uh phonetics was one of my fears <laughs> because i've never studied before um yeah. and i was so scared to have my own students and having to deal with this part of you know the language you're gonna um, learn to love it jolly trust me um, it's, you're going to learn to love it it's one of the best things yeah, well, it's it's not bad, but it's it's quite difficult if you haven't seen it before. Okay. And uh, you know, with That's all the right. symbols and the sounds, IPA. even even some sounds for us for Spanish people, it's difficult for us because we if they, these sounds that it doesn't don't exist in our language. Give me an example. So, Give me an example. Which sound that like uh, the English language has does not exist in Spanish language? Like for example, B and V. For us, Spanish, everything is B. <laughs> you don't have v, v, exactly you don't have sound. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So this one is difficult. Yeah. We don't have we, we have D in English. We have D and V, like with the vibration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. We yeah. don't but have, you have that. You have so, like uh, you say uh, I, there was one in Ireland. There was one. Um, girl her name was Lucia Lucia yeah we got the C yeah. but it's not it's similar but it's not the same it's not yeah, exactly it's not the, the same, same. Sound. Okay. so yeah for us it's difficult um mm -hmm. but yeah it was it was really interesting um like the last so days what, what was the had... biggest what was the biggest mm -hmm. highlight for you then there um I don't know. There were so many things. <laughs> there were so many things I liked, and then the I would say that the people you get to know there are really, really supportive. Yeah. I'm not talking just about the tutors, but your partners as well. Um, I think I was the only Spanish girl. Okay. Um, and then there this was, was another... happening in Spain, and this was happening in Spain. Yep. That's yep. pretty cool, actually. Yep. I would expect <laughs> there to be more Spanish teachers. There were just two girls um, that were from Venezuela. Okay. Ah. But so Spanish rest, speakers as well. Yeah, Spanish, Spanish speakers, yeah. yeah. But the rest of people were from like all the places, Americans, British, Italians. Okay. Um, there was a girl from Australia as well. Okay. What was the ratio? What was the native, non-native speaker ratio there then? I'm quite curious mm. about that. Was it 50 50? You, you would say, I would say more, more than 50 percent. So it was really hard for me, um, just to it was not just to take the course and do all the stuff they, they require you to do, all the works, the writings, lesson preparation, and, yeah. and all that, but just the fact that I had to be talking and listening in english for eight All hours minimum it can be exhausting a day yeah it was exhausting, exhausting. Right? yeah mm -hmm. it was exhausting yeah yeah overall because some of my partners had a very uh strong or difficult accent yeah um and and for me it was difficult to follow them sometimes like i had to tell them oh, slow down i remember this, this. <laughs> I, remember this really. I remember exactly yeah this. I, you mm -hmm. because you get overwhelmed by a lot of things and this is one thing that you don't expect to happen this is like exactly. one thing that you can't prepare for mm -hmm. and it's happening because uh, it's not the same like if, if everything was done in your first language it would have been you know it would be much easier but the, the yeah. fact that you had to always do this in English it makes it a little bit more challenging. As you say, all these different accents that you might have not heard before as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, but it gives you so much, you know, it, it just broadens your horizons and it's just, it's such an enriching experience for you. It's been an enriching experience. Yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm sure you'll tell us more, but we need to move on to Helen. Yeah. Uh, of course. Uh, since we have her here. I know there's one more person trying to get in that is from the Achievers Chamber, but unfortunately, Carolina, oh, if you're, if oh, you're Carolina. 
No, Carolina is here. But I can't see you on camera, Carolina. You need to make your camera work, yeah, before we can let you before we can let you in. So perhaps another time, yeah. Uh but uh, let's talk to Helen now. Oh yeah, she has made it. Carolina. Just you're just muted. You're just Yeah, muted. yeah. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, hello. Hi. Hello Hi. Carolina. Good to Hi, have you here. Uh, yeah, thank you. Actually, I'm working now, so but I would like to see the event. Yeah, oh, now you are part of it. Are you? Are, do you have to yeah. go? Do you have to go soon? You have to go soon, or can you talk to us now? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, it lasts just one hour, right? This event. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you are working, so are you working yeah. now at the moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of working. I'm on the laptop. I have in my computer okay. in front of me, so yeah, but it's no problem. Okay, well, if it's for not a problem, while. I promised to Helen that she would, she could talk now. So. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Thank you. What have you been up to, Helen? Uh, <laughs> I told you I have no <laughs> the, the most boring life ever. <laughs> Can you oh, don't say that. <laughs> nah, we don't believe that for a second. You can't have a boring life and become this person. I, I'm sorry. It's not possible. You're the, one of the funniest people I know, and you can't become the one of the funniest people I know by having a boring life. It, it makes no sense, in my opinion. So, Do I make sense at all? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, nothing special happened. This month for me. Mm -hmm. So, but what have you been doing? Like so, so the usual, yeah. The usual. Okay. Just staying at home. I know. Whenever we messaged each other, obviously I was in Ireland um, and you were in France. Uh, you always mentioned mm -hmm. the weather. So, was it really a big, a big issue for you? Because you always told me that you were melting. Literally, those were your exact words. <laughs> It is an issue. It is an issue. I, I think yeah. you can confirm. Uh, confirm. You confirm, uh, Jolly, uh, yeah. when you, you have uh, forty-eight degrees, and uh, at night uh, the temperature goes down to twenty. When you're lucky, eighteen. If you really. Well, that's that's yeah, that's very like if you are really lucky, like twenty mm. degrees at night. We had more than that at night. To be honest, that's what that's that was my uh, average temperature in Ireland. Like, I think for, for about three days it was getting close to thirty degrees, but most of the time it was around twenty degrees actually. So yeah, but you had twenty de degrees during the, uh, the during the day, not yes. during the night. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the difference. To be honest, I like I should have probably done a little bit more research about Ireland and its its climate because I was really surprised by how cold it can be in summer there. Really surprised. Like in a way, I like I liked it because obviously it's you know it's I think your brain can function better in such conditions. Um, but also this is summer, so I was like, huh. And I got I got a cold as well as a result of the, the weather. So and then people were laughing at me that I hadn't brought an umbrella with me as well. That was like <laughs> something I, I, I didn't do as well. That like, didn't make much sense from, from my mm -hmm. side. I, but I, I I don't like umbrellas in general, so <laughs> is it rainy like over getting... there? <laughs> Sorry? Is it rainy over there? Is it rainy over there? Okay, not as much as you might think. I think it that was just one really rainy day, like that it rained almost the entire day, but it wasn't like it wasn't like constant rain as it as it as as could happen here in the Czech Republic. Because we are a landlocked country and it's it's different from the oceanic climate. Because I think the oceanic climate it just you get like more showers and drizzle and the rain is not like very doesn't take it doesn't take very long you know it's it's really different yeah it, it feels more like refreshing the, the kind of rain that we got in ireland 
good weather yeah 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 i i i like i like the rain there it was actually nicer than rain here i would say it was just sometimes it was just a bit too cold for my liking but considering it's summer i guess overall i guess i was quite happy with the, with uh, the climate and, and, and the weather especially uh, in the light of what what i heard from helen <laughs> Yeah, I, c I could do with some rain. <laughs> yeah, so me too. Go to, go, go to Ireland then, or to Scotland. You can go to Scotland as well. Mm -hmm. Scotland is, is, is cold. Yeah. yeah, must be quite uh, similar. To, consider yeah. this. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's talk to Carolina then. Carolina, what have you been up to? Oh yeah, I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm working. Mm -hmm. Now I'm working on weekdays from Monday to Friday. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. when I have some time, I can, I think I expect to join in this meeting, you know. Yeah, um, yeah everything's fine with me. I am so I'm training my IELTS skills, as you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still on that. Uh, so, yeah. Glad to hear that. Yeah. You took a few lessons with me as well. Hopefully, I managed to help you. It, it was some writing. I think we were focusing on writing. Yeah. 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 At least I realized about my uh, writing mistakes. So yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. Mm -hmm. on that. Obviously, yeah. just, just to explain to people that are watching us, like some of you might be wondering, what on earth is this? Is <laughs> that What What is it's this? Rough. <laughs> it's okay so at this time normally what i do is a live english lesson with one of my students one of the people normally with one of the people you can see here except i haven't done one with carolina yet i think but basically if you are a silver member you have an opportunity to take a live english lesson with me if you are a silver member it's like you need to be uh in that um discord group that i have Okay, if you want to join, uh, just uh, send me an email. Uh, my email is teachersdenek at gmail.com. And I'll tell you more about the benefits. I don't want today's live English lesson to be about um, me like selling my product and uh, doing marketing. I'll do more of this in the future. <laughs> I have to, yeah, but not today. I feel like we should just catch up with each other. So this is my email address if you're interested in joining um, the Discord group that I've just told you about. It, it, it is a paid membership group, but I think the price is very reasonable. And there are also three levels you can choose from, depending on your budget. Yeah, so this is the email. Um, and so, so just to explain, just to finish explaining this. So these people are members. And normally I have a one-to-one -one lesson with one of these people. But I thought, I haven't seen you guys for a long time. I thought it would be more appropriate to do it like this just do a catch up and I'm not by the way I'm not making any notes about any language today I just feel like talking to you guys you know um, Zdenek yes. uh, maybe you should check up your email address oh no I put c cz it's com, yes. it's com yeah. I was thinking exactly the same <laughs> you see I'm a bit rusty guys I'm a bit rusty as a YouTuber <laughs> okay hang on thanks thanks that, that's why I I have these guys around me because they know better you know they know I didn't even notice yeah you see i didn't I, I, that, that is about your country right dot com. this is correct yes yeah this is correct so if you guys want um send me an email and i'll, I'll tell you more about the achievers chamber okay i'll give i'll just tell you everything about it we can even set up a meeting like a face-to-face -face online meeting where i can um, tell you more okay but um, back to our guests here today. Are you guests? What, sh what should we call you? Guests? Students, I guess, as well? I'm a teacher now. Oh, you were a teacher <laughs> before, Jolly. Let's be honest. Qualified. Now you are a qualified. Is it, do, qualified. do you feel any different, Jolly, now that you are a qualified? No. <laughs> no. Is it still you? No. I, is it still me? Have you yeah. leveled up? Have you leveled up? Uh, perhaps. Yeah, I think I'm that sure perhaps, yeah, some, you know, 
some things the, during the course I realize about things I tend like used to do or used used to do in the past. Yeah. And I shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Um so I will probably start to change these little little things because most most of the things I've seen are things that I've been doing in my classes already. Yeah, so, I, that's what I told you. I, I, I said to you that yeah. you know so much already. That's why mm. I thought I thought it, you would be great there. Actually, I, I, I'm sure you're just being humble, but you're not telling us. But something is telling me that you got at least past B, maybe even past A. Am I right? I got past A. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, wow. this, this, is, this is what my tutors recommended. Now Cambridge has to like approve, agree approve it, somehow, yeah. yeah but... Okay, just just so you know, guys, it's about five percent of people statistically, five percent of teachers that take the CELTA course that get a pass A. Five percent <laughs> of all the people that take the course. That means that Jolly is the cream of the crop. She's one of the best. <laughs> yeah. <a> good one. <laughs> so you know. If anyone is looking for an English teacher, and you know, <laughs> we have more options here now, it's not just me; it's also Jolly. <laughs> so, Jolly, we yeah. have to collaborate now more. You know, mm -hmm. we have to collaborate. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Tom, so, I feel uh, really proud of myself. Like, you should be. You should. I, be. you know, I couldn't imagine I was going to be able to. Like when when I started the course, I I thought. I'm not going to get past eight. It's, it's too hard for me. Like with so much, the, the amount of work was just crazy. I know. Um, but I did it. You know, I said, well, come on. I'm not doing anything else. So I'm going to devote myself completely to this. No, I it's, did inc it. it's incredible. I myself got past yeah. B. So there you go. There you have it. Jolly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, like, I'm proud of you as well, Jolly. Yeah, because thank you. <laughs> we take we also thank take you. private lessons, yeah, and um, you have we have also been preparing for this a little bit, haven't we? A little mm -hmm. bit, yeah. Because yeah. at at first you wanted me to help you with the CPE exam, yeah, and then, and then I don't know what happened, but then we realized was it some kind of like a mutual? I think it was. Did I you... think it was because of the um, summer camp opportunity. Yeah. you told me about like ah yeah i wanted you to come with me to join yeah. the summer camp and then we realized mm -hmm. that you're not qualified mm -hmm. so i was like you can't come with me because you need to have at least some qualification and that that's when that's when we made a decision to start preparing you for the celta course but we haven't taken that many that many lessons though about, uh, about yeah. this. no but it was it was fine it, it was just kind of an overview of yeah. What, what was going to be the course about, I think. Exactly, exactly. I think it was more like, I, I think I helped you prepare mentally, perhaps, a little bit, haven't yeah. I? Mm -hmm. Did you, So hopefully it Probably. was... Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is this is incredible. You, you haven't mm -hmm. told This is the first time Jolie's, Jolie's telling me. She was waiting for this to say publicly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Wow. Well done, well done. I was I was keeping it. Well done, yeah. well done, well done. Thank you. Have you celebrated this properly yet? Or? Mm, well, I celebrated with my family, um, but not. It wasn't a, like a huge celebration. Hmm. Um, Did you have any sangria? Just, sangria and like, I think. Well, yes, we had sangria the last day of the course. When we all finished, we went all together to have sangria in Madrid. Um, but I think it wasn't much of a surprise for them, for my family, because as I was talking to them every week, um, yeah. telling them about my tutor's feedback and the progress I was doing, like yeah. they, they expected it. You know, so when I told them, they gave me passe, they said, we knew it. I, honestly, so it, wasn't, I, it wasn't much of a surprise for them. You what know? happens is that during the during the course, they sort of there's there's a few there are a few meetings that you have with the tutors, and they sort mm -hmm. of tell you what you could achieve. 
if you yeah. tick all the boxes they're asking you to tick. Mm -hmm. So I think they were already telling you that you have the potential to get past A, I assume. Yep. Yeah. So you knew you were aiming for that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this is this is great news, Julie. I'm really, yeah. I'm really happy you. for you. <laughs> Thanks. And enjoy, enjoy, celebrate. And I'm sure there will be some follow-up to this as well in terms mm -hmm. of your progression and in your career as well yeah all right well let's move let's move back to matthews then matthews <laughs> who as, as, a, as a someone who has a holiday now kind of working in his garden a little bit but otherwise you have a holiday so do you um do you what do you do do you do some gaming or well i mostly work in the garden because no. you can't yeah. just use that I am working for like three weeks now, like f four hours in the garden. Four hours a day. Four hours a day for that's, three weeks. That's all right. You still have plenty of time to do other things. Y yeah, that's true. So it's mostly you... about it's heavy work, and even if it's not heavy work, it's like it's tiresome because you have to like hold one thing in place for like five minutes, and it's it's going to make to make your muscles like weak. Yeah, but, that, but that, your muscles will grow as a result of that. And then they will be stronger. And then when you hold it next time, it will be I mean, easier. I mean, it's mostly like, it's not about holding it. It's about making sure it's in the right place and you are not putting any force into it. It's just making like you tiresome because it's the, the same thing, like for five minutes straight. Just to explain it to everyone, we are talking about bricks here, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> just to make sure everyone knows what we are talking about okay good <laughs> i spent like one week just moving bricks around <laughs> and <travel. laughs> sounds so like a night sounds like a nightmare and then at the end of it no one is gonna give you pass a because this is not even like <laughs> no okay so what's gonna happen like what what sort of you're gonna get some some kind of sense of satisfaction out of this well we made Art. our pool pretty there you go there you go yeah. your pool is nice now yeah and we are talking about the 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 swimming pool right not yeah. any any other kind of kind of pool yeah we have the our swimming pool then we have pool for our dogs which we also made uh, oh nice that's dogs. amazing yeah mm. a nice turn around it there is really? there is also apple tree. how's the, how's the How's the dog pool different then? Oh yeah, because it's like this little pool that you that you have in the garden that that is like it's pre-made. It's like out of plastic that we just well fill fill, fill it with water, put it in I in the see, ground. You dug a hole. I assume yeah. you dug a hole and they put it inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then we filled it with water, and now our dogs are nice and cool. Wait, uh, do they know that that's their pool? Do they go there or do they also go to your pool? <laughs> well, they go in the little pool for them because firstly, it's like water and it's it, it, they can actually go out of it because Easily. there are little steps that can help them all out. In our easier. big pool, there is, there is just a, there, there is a ladder which they cannot climb. So yeah, they go it, into the small it, one. Yeah. And cool. do you guys go sometimes in the small one as well, just to say hi to the dogs, or <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, I guess because... it's a bit dirty water there. Yeah, dog water, <laughs> full of mud. Yeah. All right. That's also, cool. we spent a lot of time filling the holes that our dogs just dug out because why not? Wait, did they <sighs> dig out more holes? What, they're, were they trying to help you with the pool, or was that? No, those are just random holes in the middle of our grass that do not, <laughs> do not serve any purpose. Well, maybe the dogs are trying to tell you something. Maybe you are supposed to make more swimming pools for other animals as well. Do you have any other animals there? Is it just dogs? Um, we also have a cat, which is... Yeah, there you go. So uh, dogs dig smaller holes, I assume, smaller than the one... That would be yeah. uh, suitable for for a dog dog pool, so you can make new pools for cats now as well. I don't think cats are gonna like a swimming pool. Depends, <laughs> on, the, depends on the cat. 
I've seen some YouTube videos where cats really enjoyed uh, swimming in water. So yeah, and in the sea as well. Yeah. In the sea as well, like sur- no, no, mine. I can tell you, sw- my cat doesn't or like water. Sur- surfing, uh, mm-hmm. just, just surfing as well. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah. it's a nice idea that dogs, that, you know, the dogs have their own space, like to have a swim because they like it. Yeah, yeah. That's Again, I idea. think it depends on the yeah. dog, doesn't it? Like you might have dogs that don't like water. Yeah. Well, mine loves it. Your, yours loves it. And then yeah, there but... are dogs that just wants to be like water like plants every single day. Yeah. yeah. We cannot mine like is... we cannot bring our house anywhere. We cannot even put it in our hands because they, they already they, they know that we are going to water them. We we cannot even like move it around. We just have to like leave it there and make sure that we don't touch it. Hmm. Yeah, you can go okay. on, Jolly. Okay. Yeah, no, I was going to say my uh, my dog loves water. She she loves it, but only when we go to the river. Like, if if we are in the swimming pool, she just do does the same thing Matthews was saying before. Like okay. we are swimming and she's just outside going around barking. <laughs> and we try to take her and you know um yeah, and she doesn't she doesn't like it she doesn't like the pool i don't know why the water the river then is it like because it's a stream or maybe it knows it's like a natural natural water maybe you know? i don't know but we we took her to the river we took her to uh some how you call it uh dams dams Dams. Dams, yeah. yeah, and she was swimming, no problem. Okay, but in the swimming pool, no, no, no way. Yeah, um, maybe because, because it's yeah. <laughs> because maybe, maybe because it's, it's deep there. Um, yeah, maybe that, and also there is like chemicals in the pool that you may uh, that you you put. There that's what I saw. Mushroom. Yeah, and maybe it smells like different. Yeah, yeah, they smell it and they think that that's not. Yeah, oh, they are smart creatures. <laughs> Actually, not like human beings who always go in. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what about Helen? Did you notice I call you Helen and not Helena? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I responded. I told you, you call me, you try to call me Helena. The, uh, the, amount, the amount of effort I'm making now not to call you Helena, you have no idea. <laughs> Helen. Thank you so much, Derek. How is how is how is France doing? How is France doing as a country? Okay, we don't want to hear this answer. <laughs> Alan doesn't look very happy. Do you know what? That's when we have the most viewers watching us live at the same time. That's people came just for this answer to know how France is doing, Alan, and you're not giving it to them. You're just frowning. I guess it's it is a, it is a kind of answer, just a frown. <laughs> I have nothing to answer to that. Sorry, <laughs> nothing to say. All right. Well, you know what I noticed. You know, one one interesting thing that here the prices might be higher than in Ireland. I can't believe it. When I'm looking at, yeah. at it, has never ever happened before. The Ireland. It was always this Western Western country, but everything was, you know, like more expensive and fancier. And now, I came back home. I'm like, well, why is this so expensive? Like the food and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. You know. Anyway, going back to Helen. Any update on France, Helen? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have nothing to do to sound that subject. So tell us again, you're from Grenoble, yeah? I am. Grenoble. So what's it like in Grenoble now in summer? Grenoble. Is it, am Grenoble. I pronouncing it correctly? Grenoble. Grenoble. Okay. Grenoble. 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 Oh, my God. No, I, I can't. <laughs> Grenoble. 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 I'm going to look for it. Mm, Say, it again. Say it again. Grenoble. 
Grenoble. Grenoble. It's not noble. No, it's blue. Is it, blue. Is it, is it a noble blue. place? Is it a place Grenoble. for nobles, Alan? Not blue. Um, it, uh, it origin uh, the name originates uh, from uh, from um, don't know exactly, but it's linked to with noble. Ah, okay. Does nobility live there? Mm -hmm. Do you have blue blood, Helen? <laughs> uh, Can you just would you mind no. like would you mind like hurting yourself for a bit and show us it? your blood is red? Just to you know, just to see. But wait, wait, no, don't do that. YouTube would actually ban ban this video. So don't do that. Uh, you, you're not at risk. The, the video is not monetized. It oh, is a nice it, place. It is not monetized, but YouTube are just they know, you know. Yeah, YouTube does not really like swears and stuff and people cut, cutting themselves live i think yeah also they don't like basically anything that's not child friendly and then they have like ads that are just ads that shouldn't be here but should be on like one of these um adult sites on only fans something like that yeah something of that or that famous hub site what what site hub hub Huh. I don't know what you are talking about. I've never heard of anything like that, Matthias. Maybe Carolina can tell us more about that. I'm just Sorry. joking. Carolina, what? <laughs> Sorry, tell me again, please. So, so you are wearing a jacket inside. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. Because here is course. a little chilly. Here is a little chilly. I mean, we are in winter. Wait, 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 wait. hang on. Let me, let me stop you right there. <laughs> it is chilly there, but you are in Peru. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. So you are not in Chile. It is chilly there, but you are in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the weather is little, you know, it's getting cold in yeah, winter. It's, it's, it's now winter yeah. in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. Peru, Peru is in the in the no. southern hemisphere, right? Yeah, actually, in some places uh, it rained a lot, and uh, you know, because we have three distinct regions here: the coastline, uh, mountains, and jungle. So yeah, the, in the mountains. Uh, no, now I'm in the coastline, and it, it, it also has this, you know, this season, winter. No. We are in the winter stage for three months at least. So where in Peru is that? Like, is that in the north, in the south, or near oh, the sea? Yeah. Where is that? Uh, this is the north side. And north. north side, yeah. Okay. Somewhere near the sea? Are you near the sea? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Actually, we are near the sea because it's the coast, coast like and um, yeah, yeah, but it, it's far away, away, of course, from places. I mean, it's not too near to the ocean where no. I'm now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, are you in a in a large city or in a small town or a village or? Oh. Where is oh, the building yeah. you are in right now? Where is it located? You don't oh, have okay. to give us the exact address. Don't worry about that. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, I, I got, I got your point. Uh, no, I live in the capital city. It's called Lima. Lima okay. city is the capital from Peru. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, the capital city is, is not a town, is city. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't know which word it fits here, but. Um, it's like a citadel. Yeah. There are a lot of buildings. It is here. It has a economic movements, high economic movements. Uh, now I'm I am at work. I mean I work uh, at a dairy company. Dairy company. Are you making dairy milk, milk products? 
Yeah, well, yeah. It's uh, an amazing job. You you're getting paid uh, while doing YouTube videos. I would like to love to have a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dairy products and they're off. Yeah. Um, yogurt, yogurts and cheese and stuff like milk that. Fermented, yeah. milk fermented cheese. Okay. Uh, butter, butter. Uh, I, mean, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. Helen is not a big fan since she's a vegan, but um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I like it. I like it. I like dairy products. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I mean yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't. I don't like to eat a lot of. You don't like to uh, eat uh, cheese, or you don't like to eat at all. Uh, I mean, I don't usually uh, eat um, dairy products, and you know, and I'm kind of uh, flexitarian. Flexi, I don't know, flexitarian. It is a like new, a new friend there in Helen for sure. <laughs> no, because on we on we in the week in the week uh, I'm just eating two or three uh, meat products and they're off. And I prefer eating as well vegetables uh, at the other in the other days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thank you for that. I have to say I'm so happy that we have so many fans uh, of this channel watching right now. It's it's great to see. I can see the numbers. And we have one more fan here as well. So we have to add plus one because there's a fan behind Jolly as well. So that, that one as yeah. well. That include we also include Jolly's fan in that. Also there's a fan <laughs> inside my laptop, so I don't know if I could count that as well. You know what the, the number of fans watching this might be like double double the amount that we, I can see here that YouTube is showing me. <laughs> okay. You know what, guys? I haven't actually spoken about Ireland at all here. I feel like I should say something at least. Yeah. Um, do you know what? So I'm going to focus on... I've, I've actually made a few notes here, so I'm just going to try to go quickly, yeah? Because I think this video is about to... It, should, it, should, it shouldn't be, like, too long, right? So I'm going to say this quickly, unless you have something else you want to say first. I mean, I I only said I was I I only talk about about moving bricks and our dogs. I didn't I haven't really talked about <laughs> myself. <laughs> okay, go ahead. You go first. So in my free time, I played game games. I was in a few ton tournaments, and we won first place twice. Oh, and that's cool. Third place once. Is that then, a beauty contest tournament as well? Like, like no, the dog... the, we, we, it was actually about skill with our friends in a, in okay. a video game. Computer game skill. So what, what was the game? Uh, League of Legends. Oh, there is League like, of Legends. Okay. Every two weeks, there is like this competition that you can actually earn in-game stuff. And it's actually really decent. And because we're like a good team and we actually... Well, we are not that coordinated. We always have like one or two persons that are just a little bit bad, but we need five people. So we make sure that everybody is like making sure that those two people don't really like... So you, what you are saying is that you have two noobs in yeah. your team, and yet you make it work somehow. Yeah, because one of my friends is yeah. like good at the game, then we have like another one that is, is even good. I'm like the middle ground. I'm like about about the yeah. yeah. And I'm the yeah. I'm going to say this. I'm the youngest at our group. So since I played the game the shortest, then we so have you like, have the most potential to to improve as well. Yeah. Then we have like this um, person, of, of a cousin of one of my friends, okay. which is, which is which he has played for five years. And he's still worse than me. <laughs> How is that even possible, Matthew? <laughs> yeah. I yep. don't know. And because there are these lines where we play, there's jungle, top, middle, and then we have like bot and support. I'm the support and I'm like making sure that our bot, which is this person, isn't like make, making sure that he is not that bad. You know what? So there might be a lot of people that don't understand what the hell Matthews is talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm... Might, hang on, hang on. <laughs> and you might think that I'm one of those people, but surprisingly, I know what he's talking about. I haven't played this game, but I used to be addicted 
to a game called Dota. And yeah, I will say this here on YouTube. Raising my hands or whatever you do. Hold my hands up. I used to be addicted to a, to a game called Dota, Defense of the Ancient, which was a predecessor, a direct predecessor of League of Legends, which is, I think, even more popular than Dota. Yeah. So and I know exactly what he's talking about. It's the, this kind of game. It's like a team game, five against five. You have a map, always the same map. You have heroes that are fighting each other, and you have to destroy this ancient or something. And only one of the teams can win. And this is such a popular game online. There are tournaments and, and it's streamed. And there are even yeah. like TV TV shows about this. Carolina, you know it, yeah? Yeah, there's actually, I mean, world tournament over, I mean, in the worldwide, there's some tournaments. I heard about that, about Dota. Dota. Yeah. yeah. And even, even yeah. Daniel, Daniel from my Fluent podcast, it's saying that Dota 2 is great. I actually never liked Dota 2, Daniel. I always played only Dota 1, but I was addicted to it for bloody like eight or nine years. Like it was just a, this this wasted so much time, so much of my time, you know. But I had good time as well. But it's looking back at it, it was wasted time too, you know. But you know what's funny? You mentioned League of Legends. I actually went. I wanted to pay uh, with my uh, uh, by my credit card today in a, in a few shops. And it stopped working. You know the contact, the contactless uh, feature of the credit card stopped working. So I went to my bank and said, "Hey, you need to send me a new card, guys." I, di I didn't say it like this, but I said, "Would you mind sending me a new card, please?" And they said, "Yeah, sure." And then one of the questions they asked me was, uh, "Do you want um, your own image on the card?" I was like, "What? What? what? I, have, I can have my own." Image. And then they were like, "Yeah." I was like, oh, so can I like have a football? Uh, can I have like my favorite football team on the card, Arsenal? And they said, no, we have a gallery that you can choose from. Yeah. And then I was like, well, how many how many pictures can you choose from? And, and, and she, the, the woman said, oh, it's just you can either go for the Bat Batman theme or League of Legends. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> And then there were a few more pictures, and I, I chose I chose a, a lemon, or was it lime? It could have been a lime. I was like, oh, I like this lime here then. And then it, it turned out that it, it, I was I would have to pay for it. So I was like, well, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I decided to go, go for a generic picture then in the end because I, I don't want to pay for, for this image. I think it's it's not worth it, you know. But uh, anyway, I just want to tell you a bit about Ireland. So I have made a list of top 10 things. I, okay, I'm not going to lie. It was not all perfect. I'm not going to lie, okay? But I want to focus only on positives, yeah? So I've made a top 10 list of, um, of my, like, um, positives about uh, this Irish experience. So as you guys know, uh, I went to Ireland for one month. It it was um, it was a work. It was it was for work. Yeah, I, I worked um, in Dublin as an English teacher at a summer camp, and um, so I'm just gonna read out what uh, my notes here. Yeah, so uh, the first thing that I consider a positive is that another country ticked off my bucket list. I'm not exactly into traveling much. Um, but uh, because the thing is, like, normally when I go uh, to another country, I go there because of work. I spend there some time. I don't, I don't go for only a week. I usually stay there for at least a month, sometimes several months. And then I work there. Yeah? Um, and this was the furthest away I have ever been as well. I don't think I've ever been further than Ireland. Before that, it was Wales. Now I went even further. So that, that was good. So that's one one positive. Uh, the next thing is I have worked as a teacher in another country. So I think that's that's brilliant for us, Jolly, as English teachers. If you can have on your CV that you mm -hmm. have worked in different countries, because I think it, it sort of gives you more credibility or more credit, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, as a teacher, that you've done it. You've, you've, you haven't only worked in Spain, let's say, or I haven't only worked in the Czech Republic. That, that's where I'm from, by the way. If any of you are watching first time, I'm Czech, yeah. So it's it's good that on my CV I can say I have worked in the UK as a teacher. I've worked in Ireland. So 
this is brilliant. And it was one of the reasons I went there, by the way. Um, then I was really happy that I could do face, uh, face to face teaching again. I used to do this a lot, obviously. I've been teaching English for, I don't know, 12, 13 years, something along those lines. And uh, the first 10 years, I only, I only taught uh, face to face. I didn't know anything else. Then, because of the pandemic, as you know, guys, I had to uh, go back. I, I had to go back um, home. Um, I left the UK where I worked at the language school. And then ever since I came back, I had worked online only. Yeah? So only online. Online lessons 24-7. For, for two, was it two or three years? I can't. Okay, Hello, so, Simon. Yeah, can you hear me? Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I have to leave. So yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank, thank you okay. so much. Thanks, thanks for yeah. stopping by, Carolina. Eh? It was good to have you here. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. Bye, bye, thank bye. you. Take care. Bye. 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 Yeah. So uh, just to finish my point, uh, um, I was glad to do some face-to-face -face teaching again. I, I, I wanted to prove to myself that I still have it. I, I can still do this, you know, because it, it's a com it's it's there are some aspects which are the same when you teach online. You're still teaching, you're still teaching the language. It's do a lot of things which are the same, but in a strange way, it's also different. It's it's different because you can't you can't physic you don't physically see the people. They are not in your proximity or what I don't know how to describe it. There's there's different dynamic. Yeah. There's, you can also do groups online, but there's different dynamic doing it face-to-face. Uh, -face. And also you can do larger groups. So I taught large groups of students, and that, that was that was good to just to prove to myself that I, I, I can still do this. And, of course, I used a lot of board games, as always, and also my role plays for my English uh, through role plays course. And I was actually surprised that those role plays... The, <laughs> They were very, very popular, like even more than board games, maybe, which was like a really interesting dis discovery for me. Uh, yeah, the students seemed happy and I also bought some more games. You know what, guys? Actually, uh, I, I went to Dublin. Yeah? Like it was my first day off after, I don't know, like I didn't have many days off there. But when I did, I went to Dublin. And the first thing I did, I got off the bus when I got to the city center and Literally, right in front of that bus stop, there was a there was a board games shop. So I went in and bought, I bought more board games, of course. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. I bought these. So hang on. So I don't know. I don't know if the camera. We'll be able to see this. I have a suitcase here. <laughs> I had to buy well, that suitcase is full of board games. I just want to say something here. Yeah. So when I went there, I only had <laughs> one large suitcase which was overweight. I had to pay it was like five extra kilos over what <laughs> Ryanair allowed. So I had to pay like so much money to just <laughs> for for the excess luggage. But when I, on my way back, because I bought more games and also some clothes, I actually I actually had to buy an extra suitcase, like a 10 kilo suitcase. And I'm just gonna open this suitcase. Because... Okay, yeah. are you ready for this? Yeah, I hope. It's all oh, just like, oh, oh, and, and it's not all the games. There were more games in the big suitcase because all of these games wouldn't fit here, so. Yeah. What do you have, Ivan? I bought this one, hot seat. Hot seat. Nice. I bought feel keep calm. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's cool. I bought um one night ultimate bonus bonus rolls. Because I like one night ultimate werewolf, one of my favorite games to use in the classes. So I bought I bought two more rolls. Oh, there is a coop. Yeah, there's cool, of course. Where is it? Oh, here, cool, yeah, yeah. and so, uh, yeah, it's, it's all just games, yes. There's more here. The other thing is that I like board games, so 
I'm I'm mad. I'm mad. I know. <laughs> like, okay. we could, like we could play with each other. It's mostly about like we are in different countries. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but we we play online, yeah. But um, yeah. but that's I, the, the playing face to face is is, is better. Yeah. yeah. It well. has different feels. It does. It does. Now we know what we can uh, buy you uh, for for Christmas. Well, the thing oh, is that he has so many board games that it's hard to find. Them. You will probably did... find me the same thing that I already have. Yeah. Did you say? No, no, did you no, say no, no, no. I was I was not uh, thinking about games. Oh. But Helen, you did you say can shell? or can't? Did Sorry? you say can or can't? Can. Now we know. We know we. <laughs> We know what we can't buy you for Christmas. No, we... no, 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 no. We we have to put uh, um, money together to 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 buy Zdenek a new shelf. Yeah, yeah. that's what I. Said. Or 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 you can buy me um like um voucher a voucher. For... You can buy me a voucher for like a psychiatrist or something that is gonna heal heal me from this addiction of buying games. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna quickly go through the other positives and then we will call it a day. Yeah. So uh, another positive is that I have been an ADOS. Um, that's how I started. Um, so an ADOS. I wasn't an ADOS the whole time, but and and not everything was as it was supposed to be, but it was an interesting experience, I have to say. I really enjoyed um, some aspects of it. Uh, and Eidos is like a senior teacher. That sounds like I, I'm very old, but uh, senior teacher means like I'm, I'm a teacher that helps other teachers, you know? Um, so it's, it's an assistant to a director of studies. So that, that was nice uh, to get like a new experience in this uh, industry, in English teaching industry. That, that was nice. Um, I've learned a lot about myself. Uh, <laughs> you could even say that there were some moments that could be described as a test of character. And I, there is bad and there is good. Uh, I don't know like which one there was more of, but there's good and there is bad. And it's always nice to kind of get this, because sometimes when you do the same thing over and over again, you don't get that moment where you can reflect you know but when you do something different or something let's say more intense this was a, an intense experience and sometimes it helps you sort of discover who you are if that makes any sense mm -hmm. and that's that's kind of cool i think so uh i like i like that and uh, i think overall i have to say i'm happy how i handled myself despite some um difficulties let's say uh, then next is I've met a lot of Irish people, really a lot. Uh, some of them were my colleagues, and then there's just some random people, some strangers as well. Uh, people that would just be so nice to me. I I can't praise this Irish character enough. It's just these people are so friendly, so warm, and they're just a bit different from the English people. I I'm a big fan of the English, yeah. I love the British culture and all that, but Irish people, they are, they are cool as well for, for different reasons. You know, they are very friendly, very warm. Um, yeah. Um, and I met a lot of cool people in general, not, not just Irish people. There were a lot of Italians. Most of the students I worked with were Italians. Yeah. So a lot of Italian students that was cool. Um, some interesting colleagues as well. So yeah. Um, that was uh, uh, one of the re again one of the reasons I went there. It's always nice to meet new people. Um, yeah. Then ne uh, the next point is I've experienced different weather conditions. I've already talked about this here. So the climate is kind of cool, uh, even in summer. And I know a lot of people here in Europe were melting, but in Ireland it wasn't really that hot. Uh, I did get sick once, so that was the like. Uh, other side of, of the coin as well but on the whole I have to say it's, it was probably for the best that it was colder there and because I had I wasn't there on holiday you know I was working so I think it helped it helped yeah uh, I have now these are two 
three last three things I think are probably the most important ones. Number one, I have I have fixed my sleeping patterns. I hope so because I had to work in the morning, which which mm. means I have to wake up interesting at eight, <laughs> at eight and sometimes even earlier than than that. Like sometimes even at like seven thirty, and uh, oh, as a result, I had, to, I had to go to bed uh, early as well. So now hopefully I don't get back to my old ways. Um, I did take a nap in the afternoon. Like I, I, I still a bit kind of. It's hard to explain, like drowsy, like I'm a bit, still a bit exhausted from the entire experience. I think I, I've done a lot of lessons, you know, I've, yeah. I've taught a lot of lessons. I don't normally teach this much. It's always like this at summer camps. You always teach a lot, like a, a lot, like, for example, seven hours of teaching. Yeah. So that's too much. <laughs> normally, I wouldn't teach so much in a day because the more I teach, like the more exhausted I get. You can do this for a month. That's fine. That's doable. But long term, you can't. You just, you know, you have to, you have to take a break. So I'm still a bit exhausted. So I do have to take a nap in the afternoon. But I think I have, hopefully, managed to fix my sleeping patterns. Because you know what, guys? Like ever since I started teaching in England, I went to bed like at three, four, or even five a.m. for three years. For three years, I was a night owl. And I fear that, like now being back in this place, you know, it could become that again. But for now, my sleeping patterns have been fixed. So let's see how long I can keep this up. Yeah, <laughs> fingers so, crossed. I can't say for myself that because since the like my holiday started, I just like I'm sleeping as much as possible because I'm like sleeping like five hours. Yeah. Every, when I am like going to school and now I'm like sleeping to like 1 p.m. Mm. So it's not exactly helping. Yeah, but at least I don't go. I, I think I will not go to bed like five. No, at 1 p.m., 1 a.m. maximum, hopefully. Right. And then I did a lot of walking. <laughs> and this, this can't be underestimated because, again, like I've been working online for, for two years. Yeah. And I still do some sport, right? I, I've played football now, I stopped, but I used to play football. I play a lot of tennis. I do a lot of running, even in winter, but it's not enough. And there in Ireland, uh, it, was a, it was a massive campus. The place is called UCD, University College Dublin. And it's a massive campus. And the accommodation is one, in one area. Then there's canteen in another place. It's like you have to walk there for about eight minutes, maybe five minutes. Then there is the office that we had. the The office of the language school was in another building, and then uh, uh, the classrooms were again in another building. So you can imagine we were working a lot, and I feel like it it really really helped. You know, to like um, I just need I just and I I realized that I actually need to change something in my uh, own way I, I teach. I think from now on, I will ask at least some of my students if I could teach um, um, using my mobile phone while walking. I, it might sound weird, but I, I think I need to do that because I need to walk more. Because like I always sit, you know, when I teach like this, I always sit. So as, as I've become like a like a white collar worker, like an office worker, you know. And I'm, you know, what I mean. And it's it's not it's not very healthy for me at all. So I and also because I like computer as uh, by itself, I play games. It, it, it's too much, too much of screen time. You know, Was too much yeah. time I spend in front of a computer. So I have to start walking more using Was a phone right? to teach. Yeah, Zach, totally. I have an idea. What about you getting a standing desk and then getting a treadmill? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you 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 say that, but I have seen another teacher. I think his name is Martin. Martin Johnston. I've seen he has got this this yeah, as you said, um, like some kind of a table, like the way, and you stand like it's you can move it up, and you put the laptop on the top, and then you can move. But maybe I w I should do something like this, Matthias. At least it, this made me think that I have to do this because I could I can already feel the difference. I can feel like my my muscle like. I feel like mm, it's just it's just it's just it's just healthy for me, you know. Like the muscles muscles are thanking me <laughs> for this, <laughs> and also like um, 
I think what happens when I sit a lot, um, the, the muscles get like shortened. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I need to like ex tight, extend tight, as well. Though? Tight, tight. Yeah. I need to extend. I need to do stretching and it's just walking. Stretching. Is such, yeah. Yes. I need some more stretching and walking is just one of the healthiest exercises you can do. You know, it just is like pe people should walk more in general. And you know what, uh, where we've got as, as uh, society, it, we are going the opposite direction. We are optimizing everything. We have robots. We use computers for everything. And we work like this. It's not healthy. It's not how humans were made, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. We, we humans used to, used to move around a lot when they were cavemen and all that. So I, I need to get back to those those old ways i guess and the last point on my list of positives is i drank a lot of guinness <laughs> now when i say a lot i mean the only thing i drank there well uh, alcoholic uh, uh alcohol wise was guinness whenever i bought beer it was always guinness because it's just such a such it's a really great, nice such it's a really great nice. thing it, it's yeah. just and you know you don't get it anywhere else. It's nope. just so, so good, so tasty, so unique, so rare. It's incredible. It's if you guys don't know, Guinness is uh, the famous um, dark, strong dark beer, uh, originally made in Ireland. So I mean, I know other places also make dark beer, but this is like, I think the the, the best the best one you can get. It's it's a and stout. you can buy you can buy Guinness here in Spain, but it doesn't taste the same. Exactly, and also I was in the UK when I was in the UK, and I worked for this for the same language school. I had it there in Wembley, and I think it wasn't as good as it as it as it was in Ireland. And before I flew, I bought last two Guinnesses at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I drank them so fast. I was I was a bit like drunk on the plane but it it was such a such a pleasant flight <laughs> i started talking to people sitting next to me i made a lot of friends and there's an, i have an irish friend just because of this just because of drinking two pints of guinness before the flight i have now a new irish friend <laughs> it is pretty cool you know yeah okay so that that's that's uh, my 10 positives from the Irish um, experience that I've just had, and uh, but at the same time, I have to say it is good to be back. And um, now I'm going to resume my business as an English teacher, as a private English teacher working online. I'm going to start doing the YouTube videos again. I'm going to restart the football show because the Premier League is just around the corner. Yeah, uh, the first Premier League match of the season is on Friday. I know not all of you are into that, but I also have a lot of um, viewers on this channel who are interested in that, so I have to mention it. And also, you guys from the Achievers Chamber, obviously, that's going to restart as well because I stopped it for, for a month. I, I We put it on hold. I said, don't send me the membership for, for July, right? But now I'm going to restart the events. We're going to do everything we did before, perhaps. If there are some new ideas, I heard that one of our members, Max, wants to do his own event. I heard he, he wants to do an oh, idiot. Really? Yeah, he, he sent me a message the other day, I think two days ago or so, saying that he would like to do an idiom event. So that's that's cool. So we also have Claire who wants to get involved. So we will see how we make that work, if we make that work somehow. I hope so. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if any of you have any ideas, maybe Jolly now has passed A, she, she could start something <laughs> of her own as well. <laughs> we will see. We will see. We'll see. Yeah. We also we, we have the uh, English through board games course that Helen is in. Yeah. So that's about yeah. to finish. We have our last session uh, on Sunday. Uh, and, then, and, and then hopefully, you know, some of the people from the course will hopefully we will convince them to to join our uh, board games event, which we do, Mateus, is it every Friday yeah. evening, right? Yeah, yeah. So one of the one of the events we have there is, is we play board games online. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, Daniel is one of the uh, 
students from the course as well. You would like to see a gaming channel. What do you mean? Okay. We play board games together on Friday, Daniel. So you should join May... us. Maybe yeah. Daniel is suggesting you to, to start a YouTube gaming channel. Yeah. <laughs> It's too much. I do too much stuff. I mean, it would be nice, but to be honest, there is Emma. There's always Emma from the Procrastination Podcast. I think she's the best. She she knows her stuff, and uh, she's she's cool. Uh, so if you want, uh, check her out, Emma from the Procrastination Podcast. But yeah, I don't I don't know. I start I I, I tried um, streaming a, a bit, yeah, in the Discord groups that I have. But I'm not sure that I'm. It's exactly my strong suit. I don't know. <laughs> I guess we had some fun together. But I see myself more as the as the football guy and the game, the gaming stream, like yeah. a streamer or something. And I, I want to keep doing these lessons as well. I think this is cool. N no feedback today, guys. I'm sorry. We just we That's just all right. man. we're just catching up with each other, and I hope uh, the viewers liked it as well i mean the numbers are actually the highest we've ever had here i think people people were like where has this guy been why has it took, taken him so long to to make another video well i might as well watch this one now what if what if it what if there is no more after this <laughs> maybe this is why people are watching <laughs> anyway uh it's good that also people are interacting with us in the chat uh glad to hear this uh, dennis we always look forward to having you uh in the achievers chamber yeah. and uh daniel says exactly don't know what that is referring to but i guess that's where we will leave it for tonight it was good to talk yeah. to you guys matthews helen jolly and also uh, carolina of course and uh yeah take care and if you want you can always watch this video again because it's gonna be on the youtube channel now <laughs> Nice. All right. Yeah. So until next time, everyone. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, everyone. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.